Hello fellow followers, welcome back to Fanzine, Greg here, and today I have for you my review of Full Moon Features' brand new Christmas special, 12 Slaves of Christmas. I love this, I've been looking forward to watching this. Uh, if you don't know, if you're new here, if you've watched the channel uh, multiple times, I'm a huge Full Moon Features fan. I have their streaming service, which is one of the few streaming services I actually support, and it grants me opportunities to see new stuff from Full Moon Features like this before uh, they release it to Tubi and all the other you know places and stuff. So it's really fun to see these movies, and I'm really glad to have this, and uh, I was really excited to watch this. It's, this was a really great uh, Christmas special. <laughs> it was. For all intents and purposes, it was a Christmas special. Uh, the plot of the, mo of the movie is pretty much this. Uh, these three uh, young women, uh, they break down during a snowstorm and they go into this old house which so happens to be the full moon manor where this uh kindly old gentleman ignatius uh takes them in and feeds them and uh for christmas and he's got all these gifts and everything it looks very festive i love the very christmas festive vibe kudos to that and uh so uh he starts you know talking to these girls and and uh starts letting them open up presents and as they're opening up presents you can see we they start getting like um you know various things from full moon's past like blade uh the ginger dead man radu it's it's awesome i love those little figures i wish i had them and uh as each girl opens a get each a new gift that there's a new tale and it's basically like a flashback uh christmas episode special like you would see on tv which i really dug that and uh, you know the ignatius and the girls read these stories and, and like christmas poems and it shows clips from all these old movies the puppet masters ginger dead man and uh evil bong which was awesome and baby oopsie and so it was really fun to see all these like stories told and the, with the clips of the the old movies uh, as they as they did this and uh, I'll be honest with you it uh, I, I kind of predicted where this was going from the very beginning but that's okay because I still had fun with it and I was interested to see how it was going to get to that point by the end of the movie because the movie's only the movie special what everyone call it, it's only like 40 something minutes long which is really great because i love how uh full moon features keeps their uh stories uh you know tight and uh together and it, you know they're an independent film company and the you know they're low budget and stuff so i love how they do that and uh, it's really great how well this flows everything just flows the story flows i love seeing uh the flashbacks i loved the all three of the girls their performances were great shout out to my girl Brittany. i loved her she was one if you got in that clip that you saw wearing a green sweater, she was awesome. But all three of these uh, uh, women did awesome. I loved all three of their performances. And Ignatius, uh, he was awesome. This is this like crazy old man. And I just loved it, and I loved that it was the Full Moon Manor and how like the Full Moon universe has like become this thing. Because as a kid growing up, I I watched plenty full moon uh movies growing up as a kid some probably before i should have uh, considering that you know some of my favorite that's probably why some of my favorite things in movies are seeing boobs so because thanks charles band for that because you know i i, I just I, that's me but anyways um this was a real, just like a fun Christmas special uh, from beginning to end. Uh, everybody played their parts great. I'll, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, I would love to see uh, like a full movie with these three uh, women. Uh, I can't, Christine, uh, Brittany, and I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the other girl's name, uh, but they were really cool. They were really, really great uh, characters. I would love to see like a full moon featured movie focused on them three girls and uh, what they're up to after this movie because I don't want to really spoil the end of this movie, but... It, it, like I said, it's kind of kind. Of, you kind of know where it's going to go, but it's uh, it's fun. It doesn't matter if you know where it's going to go. It's fun. It was just a fun blast. And um, let's just say, if three beautiful young women break down in a snowstorm on Christmas outside of your house, don't invite them in. I know it may be very very tempting to want to invite. Uh, those them girls in but don't do it <laughs> that's all i want to say i mean i hope i didn't give too much away from it but if you're looking for like a really fun christmas horror type movie, because i'm not a huge fan of like christmas horror movies i'm not i'm not i'm not like i don't really like the silent night deadly night movies i'm i'm sorry about that um I was I'm meant to do a review on uh, Shutter's new uh, Christmas Bloody Christmas. I'll get to that. I'll watch that. But this move, this one right here, Full Moon features. It was directed by William Butler, uh, Stable Full Moon. Uh, he did a great job. This movie was great. It was fun. It was a blast. I just had a blast watching this, seeing all these old clips of like Blade carving people up, uh, seeing the Leech Woman, seeing uh, Evil Bong, uh, the new like I said, Baby Oopsie. It was fun and Radu the Vampire from. Um, 
the oh my god, I can't remember the name of the movie at the moment, which I've seen. Oh my god, but Roger the Vampire was awesome. It was just a fun blast of seeing these little clips, flashback segments, and you know, it really felt I really honestly truly really felt like I was watching one of those um, old school TV uh, Christmas specials that you see on like uh, you know. Ch- Channel 19 Fox or whatever, late night on the 8 o'clock primetime. It, it felt like that, but it was full moon, the full moon universe, which was awesome, which was awesome. Uh, so if you if you got full moon features, I highly recommend um, 12 Slaves of Christmas. Like I said, it's full moon features. You know what you're getting into. It's just a blast. It's just fun. Isn't that why we watch stuff, right? To have fun, to have a good time, to reminisce, to uh, see what's ahead, to have fun, entertaining entertainment and this was just i just had a blast with it it was it was a great christmas uh treat and uh i'll probably uh, watch this again next year so uh shout out to that and uh if you guys want to see it go ahead check it out on full moon features but i'm sure it'll be coming to tubi soon and then uh, i can't wait to pick it up on blu-ray because i love that they put their stuff on blu-ray and dvd so i'm looking forward to get that and i would love to get those little like um little figures of uh, the full moon, you know, blade and all them. Those, those were awesome. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about all this in the comments section down below. Are you a fan of full moon features? Are you going to check this out? Leave the com- leave the comments down and keep the conversation flowing. And if you liked what you saw here, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing and sharing the video out for everybody to see, hitting the bell for notifications, possibly joining and become a channel member. I would appreciate all that. Uh, but if you, if you don't, that's fine. I thank you guys for watching wherever you guys are. Please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And Godspeed, my friends.